All right, we're back on centralvalleytalk.com. Let's talk business. Let's talk marketing and advertising with Chat King from the King Marketing Group. I love how you market yourself in the name of your business. Well, of course, you have to be <laughs> you able have to, to. You have to put yourself out there. Uh, and one of the things that I do for marketing is I, I do market myself in many different ways and facets. One of the things I do is I wear a bowler hat in most places that I go. Why? <laughs> because it is the one thing that distinguishes me from everybody else. And you didn't bring it today. I, I, it's out in the car. Oh, I really? didn't, didn't think to wear it inside. But um, <laughs> yeah, I usually have the bowler hat on and I'll hear people as I'm passing by, they, oh, there goes that, that bowler guy. You make an impression on them, right? And it, it's a memory that they keep. And that's what advertising is really about is creating a memory that people will keep. So when they do need you, they'll call you and not somebody else. Mm. Uh, and that's what really our, uh, uh, my job is, is creating a, um, an ability for people to remember you. Uh, yeah. Remember back in the days, McDonald's had the two all beef patch, pesto sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles. Lettuce. On a sesame seed roll. Who can Bunch. forget it? Who can forget it, right? It's ingrained in it's there, yeah. Because you've heard it over and over and over again. Whenever you think Big Mac, that's one of the things that comes to your mind. Um, so marketing and advertising, it's what I do, and I'm very good at it. I'm... Well, I, I'm not. I'm not going to go as far as to say that. <laughs> you're you're here to sell yourself. That's it's okay. right. I, it's I, okay. I'm good at what I do. I come out of the L.A. market. I I grew up here in the Central Valley um, through my childhood and moved away to L.A. and I've been all over the United States, no, well, parts of the world. And living in L.A., I've been involved in a very aggressive market. And coming back here, it's um, it's been kind of fun. Because not so the, cutthroat, right? Some of the other people that are in the in the market with me doing the same thing I'm doing aren't really affecting the market like I am with my clients. I, I've hmm. got clients that are reporting 20% increase in business, whereas the average in the area has been five to eight percent. Wow! So you're doing something right there. I'm I'm bringing a whole new creativity to the market and new dynamics, uh, a lot more energy. Um, I'm very aggressive at how I approach things. So when I bring on a new client, it's all about what can I do to make you bigger and better than anybody else out there. And of course, it, it means that, that that client also has to be aggressively minded. They, they, they really got to put their foot down and say, I really want to do something with my business. Yeah. Uh, if you if a client just, you know, they're haphazard about their business, I'll, I'll let them go. I, I just can't. I can't do something with somebody that has no intention of growing. Now, you know during the recession, a lot of companies cut back on advertising. Absolutely. Which I think was the exact wrong thing to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. <laughs> when the market's down, you need to attract people in to increase your business. I, I have a great example of that. Um, Jim Tuck, who used to own Fun Cars, I, I love telling this story. He told me this when I first got back into the area. I started working with him doing some of his... Uh, videotaping and things of getting his product to market, basically. Um, Jim Tuck was telling me a story about how while he had fun cars, the recession hit and he started to pull back away from the cars and realized that there was a market that was coming available. Uh, the trailer business, a couple of places were going out of business, banks were starting to pull their liens on the trailers for the businesses that had bought them, so he saw that there was an opportunity to buy up a lot of these trailers mm. at a really low dollar. So he, do he, he does this, he buys up a complete inventory of trailers, goes online and starts selling these trailers during the recession. He starts marketing himself, becoming, getting on TV, getting on radio, going everywhere through the recession ends up being the number two or number three RV dealer in the nation. Wow. During the recession. Smart man. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. And the guy was absolutely astonishing with the way he did his marketing. And Some he did it without that, you. He did it, he did it without <laughs> me. There are smart people out there that are, that are aggressive marketers, and he's one of those people I, I respect very much with his marketing capabilities. But not all, not all business owners have that. Right. And they need someone right. like you. Um, the creativity has to be there. You have to have a creative mind behind your marketing. Uh, people think that, oh, it's just about throwing an ad on the radio and letting it run, or throwing an ad on TV and letting it run. It has to be grabbing, too. There has to be a message there that gets people to react. And the creative side helps people to relate mm. to it. it can re they can pe relate on the basis of whether uh, divorce attorneys, you know. It's, it's not about in anything other than the fact that you want to get a divorce. But, hey, there's some lines that you might want to use, such as, she's been writing all those damn checks, and <laughs> I've got to do something about this, so you've got to get rid of it. Well, 
legal aid <laughs> services down on Blackstone <laughs> Avenue is going to help you with that. You know, it, you, you've got to relate to people with your advertising. You got to you got to find where people live in their world so you can attack those things, those needs, and be able to bring them into your facilities, your, give them your services. I agree, them. I agree. You know what drives me crazy is, and you see this all the time in local TV commercials, somebody insists on putting their own kids in the commercial. <laughs> they have nothing to do with the product, they just want to, you know, do you, do you tell them that's not a good idea? No, actually, the cuteness of it, it, it always draws, the, oh. sorry, it always draws the women, um, but Women do represent a very large portion of the marketplace, and when it comes to fiscal responsibility, most <laughs> men turn the checkbooks over to the women to write the bills and do those things while they're at work doing their thing. And, and yeah, so women have a lot of control, uh, especially in today's market. So, so you're saying they like to see the they kids. They like in the to see the kids. It, it, it gives that family idea. People like that family principle. Uh, it, it really does have an effect on the mind. It has effect on psych psychologically on how you make your purchases and where you Listen, go. Listen, if, if it's a well-done commercial, I don't mind, but some of them are so some of them are corny. badly done and so corny, <laughs> you just you want to change the yeah, channel. Yeah, I agree. I but agree. maybe, maybe I'm not looking at the big picture. Maybe because it was so bad, it's sticking in my mind and I'm remembering that commercial. Well, another thing is there really is no bad production sometimes it can be the worst thing you've ever seen it's like a bad song you hear on the radio mm -hmm. it's the one that you keep remembering and you keep whistling yeah. later or humming later and then you keep saying to yourself why am i doing this um wait, yeah wait it's, a minute it's who, that place. who was the corny car salesman in la for years and years and years oh, back uh, in the johnny carson Cal 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 Worthington Worthington. And high dog spot yeah we're still talking about him look at this 20 30 years later yeah. they were the worst commercials ever but man did you remember and he sold a lot of cars you know I don't know if I would have bought a car from him but I, I sure remember his commercials yeah yeah, yeah they, there's a lot of these kinds of things that are out there and it's okay it's it it's like anything else I like it when an owner of a business will step up and he'll invite people to come and see him at his business because it gives that personal touch to the advertising it gives the, the, the uh, a sense of personal business. I'm not, ah, I'm here, but, I'm going to take care of you. But what if you go to that business and he's not there? Uh, then, well, there's, a problem. there's no representation. Or he won't see yeah, you. Or, right, you know, exactly. You have to stand up for whatever you've represented exactly. in the commercial, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you do print, too, and radio? And print, radio, web, the whole I do the whole thing. TV, I uh, have my own production house for TV. Uh, I do all of my own jingle writing. Uh, I have a, a great group of people I work with that also work in print and mm -hmm. jingle writing, copywriting, and everything else. So whenever it comes to, I need something a little different, my mind's not really set on it, I can call on somebody else. I have a good crew of people that I work with. Hmm. And that's why it's King Marketing Group. Yeah. I'm the leader, and <laughs> they just... The king. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be the king. Billy, you think we need a new uh, centralvalleytalk.com singing yeah, logo? Yeah. That I one's been around for a little while. I, I can definitely do that. I've got a, I've got a plethora of musicians that I can... A plethora? I can on. Yes. A plethora. Yes. Yeah. Why in the world would you leave L.A.? I'm curious. Well, actually, I'm from the Central Valley. Right. I grew up in Reedley, and my family all stayed here when I left. Um, I went with my mom, but my mom came back, and she's here in the Central Valley. She's 81 years old, and she was diagnosed recently with leukemia. And it was, it was a matter of, I need to be home and take care of my mom. That was nice of you. Yeah, nice so. of you. Well, I got good roots, you know, yeah. brought up right. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, that's the best part of it is I have a good family that I, I got to stay with. Well, we're glad you're back. All right. Um, I, I think we could talk all day about this, but if there are any business owners out there that are interested in possibly hiring you, how can they reach you? Uh, phone numbers, websites? What Call you me on my phone, 559-999-6554. I am available 24 hours a day. Wake me up in bed if you have an emergency <laughs> ad possibility. Of course, it's going to cost you triple. <laughs> <laughs> what about the internet web? Uh, King Marketing Group is KMG, King Marketing Group, Fresno.com. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, good meeting you, too. I appreciate it. Jack King from the King Marketing Group here on CentralValleyTalk.com.